Hey guys, um, I'm going to do a rare thing today and actually talk on a video. I've got no charisma, I'm not funny, so I don't expect any jokes whatsoever. But the reason why I'm doing this is for the pure fact that I've noticed that Andy Campbell did some videos on how to make your own build, which I, I've had a good look at and I think it's a really good demonstration on how to start a build to basically the end. Um, but I've also noticed a few people have said that they're struggling in regards to uh, fonts and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of places where you get your fonts from. Download a font, put it inside a Kodi so you can either put it on your main menu or put it on you know, the sub menu or your list inside your, your internal menus. So firstly, that's just a picture I've got. I'm going to go to what well, probably, you know, the font is one of the sites we could use. So we'll go to the font. Have a look for something that you've got. I've already downloaded this top one, Strawberry Blossom. Um, just as an example. And I'm also going to go to... Um, let's just have a quick look. Let's do a retro one. Oh, yeah. Retro, let's go uh, retro. Right, bear in mind, I'm also doing this on my telephone, on my mobile phone, so um, let's go WrestleMania just for fat. Yeah, let's go WrestleMania. So I download that file. As you can see there, it's downloaded, so I'm going to go into that now. It's a TTF, as you can see there. It's important that it should be a TTF because um, the OTF doesn't always take. So, if I go on this, I'm going to uh, select a path for it. So the path on an Android, obviously I've got SD card. Uh, click on that, choose a path. So, Android, data, scroll all the way up. <clears throat> Sorry if I sound like I'm rushing as well, I'm literally at work, so I'm just doing a really quick video. Uh, Cody, inside of Cody, go to add-ons, and what we're going to do is we're going to use the Aeon Nox like Andy has in his videos, so click on Aeon Nox, and go to fonts, inside there, just press OK, and it should put it inside there, press OK, so WrestleMania, that's what we're looking for. Now, so when we open Cody, I've already put the Aeon Nox on, like Andy has, and as you can see there, it's just the default uh, fonts on all menus. So I'm going to show you two different methods. I'm going to do the main menu is one of the fonts, and the sub menu. Now, if we actually go inside of system, you can see this. Um, one second, you can see the vertical. Uh, you can see interface, and then you can see the vertical menu. So. It's pretty much all your, your standard default font. Right, so from here, I'm literally going to come out. I'm going to go to File Explorer. And then we'll go right into... So basically, let's come all the way out just to show you. <clears throat> so, Android, Data, Find Cody, Go to Cody, Files, Cody. Um, add on obviously a knock skin go into that and then your fonts we've got Wrestlemania all in capitals so what I'm going to do to make it easier for me I'm going to slightly change that name to WWE in fact I'll do it all lowercase so it all makes sense WWE TTF ok uh, and there's a reason why I've done that. We're going to have the WWE TTF as the main menu. So from this, come out, go into your 69, and find the fonts folder, which I believe on this one is there. Unfortunately, I've not got Notepad++, so I can't show you which line exactly, but it's quite far down. Um, keep going... I do apologise if I sound boring, monotone, or anything like that. Like I say, it's been a busy day at work, so... 
Yeah, there we go. So literally under submenu under the heading title font. So it's quite far down. Keep going down, keep going down, and you will see where it says here yeah, font main menu. At the minute at the minute you can see name font underscore main menu file name Arial TTF. So what I'm gonna do is apologies, I've got to go into that with editor um, all the way back up one second and that's a pain in the backside but I'm not really going to edit anything in this video you're literally going to get it straight off what I'm recording now and there it is so let's edit that if you remember what we called it, we called it WWE. Also, underneath that, you've got line spacing zero, size 112. The size also depends on what size the font is inside of Cody. So, if we come over this and remember to save, <coughs> let's go back into Cody. Now, a good thing to do is when you're on this, so let's just come out of there. Come out of there, and we're going to show you from this point here. So, system, click on system, obviously, interface, go to where it says fonts, click Arial, click again to default because the one that was on was obviously the default font. Come all the way out, and you should see that it should have changed. There you are, so that has changed now. So, that's your WWE. Okay. Right, next method I'm going to show you is obviously the sub menu, as you can see there, I believe you have got just a basic aerial sort of font. So I'm going to change that in something a little bit different. Now, if you remember, when we went to the fonts, which I believe was, excuse me, this one here, and we'll come back out this. So the first one we saw was. Um, Strawberry, wherever it was. There it is, so that first one is what we're going to try and get on the sub menu strawberry blossom. So, again, different method this time. Go to Explorer, come out this, come out this, and where it says fonts, go into there. You can see here I've got strawberry TTF, third line down, third from the uh, left. So I know that the font for all the other menus is this second line down, third from the left, Roboto uh, condensed. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to add, firstly, I'm going to copy and I'm just going to add a one at the end. The reason why I'm adding a one is because this will make it completely dormant and it's still in your files in case you decide you don't like what you've got. Click on strawberry. Um, <clears throat> excuse me again. Second, there we go. Change the and go to there. Press paste. So you've got what the other one was. So press OK. That should basically be it. So we should go back into Cody. As you can see at the minute, it's just your normal font. Go into system, go into interface. You can see again, regular font. Again, quick way of changing it. That way, back into skin default, and you'll see everything should change. There you go. Obviously, like I said, the only downside in regard to this is the fact that it's smaller, but again, you can you can change the size like I showed you earlier. Um, again, come out all the way to the main menu. So, on your main menu, you've got WWE, and on the bottom menu, you have got the strawberry. And trust me, it is as simple as that. If there's any more questions on anything else, just just ask me and I'll uh, try my eyes to do a video for you. Okay, thank you.